Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's video, I'm going to cover one of my favorite applications, Snagit. Snagit is a screen capture program. It also will record video. And to be right up front, Snagit is not free. It'll cost you 49 bucks, but you own it forever, so it's not a subscription. And you can put it on two machines. You could put it on a Windows PC, and then you could also go put it on a Mac if you wanted to do that. I'm just going to run through some features I use all the time with Snagit that I really love. So item number one, and I'm trying to keep this video short for you. Item number one is let's say you're on a website. And let's say whether it's a company website or just some other website. And maybe something's not working right. You're getting an error message. Well, when I hit print screen, that opens up Snagit. I'm going to capture whatever I want to. Let's say I have an error message right here that this subscription box isn't working. When I let go, it throws it into the Snagit editor. Watch down here at the bottom. Let me zoom out just a tad. So that, by the way, that zooming in and zooming out does not count as one of the features, but you can zoom in and out. Over here, I have properties and then I have effects. If I go to effects, Capture info, look down at the bottom of that screenshot, Snagit captured that I was using Camtasia, which is running, but it would actually have picked up my website. It picks up the date and time. It picks up my operating system. So here's somewhat of a better example when I was playing earlier. There's the website down here. It tells me that I'm using Google Chrome. I'm recording now, so it's not picking up everything the way it actually should. But let's say that this looks good. Let me do it one more time. Capture info. So let's say it's all correct. You got to hit apply. And then from here, I could easily send this with an email to the help desk and say, hey, here's the website I'm in. Here was the browser. Here's the error message. So I just did a screenshot that way. Since I'm here, I'll go ahead and knock this one out now. Uh, going back to my web page, I told you I'm going to knock it out here. Do you see all the extra space? Uh, let's say that I want to do a screenshot of the header here. So here I go again, capture, just to show you what the screen looks like. I always have it on image and I always have it on region. That's my default. So I'm going to do a screen capture. So let me pull up again my website, keep this easy. I'm going to capture this right here. Do you see all the extra space from over here from my logo all the way to my YouTube channel to the right? I let go. There it is again in the editor. Well, that's that screenshot. It's got all this extra blue in here that I really don't need. Let me trim that off too a little bit. So I'm going to come up here to cut out. Again, it opens up on the right properties. I want to do, uh, you can do a vertical or horizontal cutout. I'm going to go vertical. I'm going to pick this one right here. I do want to leave a little bit. Look, isn't that a much better one? I'm going to undo control Z. So I went from there to there. Much better screenshot. Just so you know this, that's still used in vertical. They have these other verticals in here if you didn't like the one I used, just to show you that. That's letting you know that something got cut out. I actually prefer the first one. Again, it's just a matter of preference. So there's that screenshot there. One more item on that one. I'm on this page. Let me click on a blog post. So I'm on this blog post and I'm scrolling down and I want to capture text functions in Excel. Here's an ad that popped up here. I don't know what that ad is for. GoDaddy, that sounds good. So I'm going to scroll up just a tad. But I don't want that ad in the screenshot. So I'm going to hit print screen. Click, drag. Let's say I need to capture this down to here. Let go. There it is. One more. Here you go. Grab it. Bye bye ad. I could even, if I wanted to, get rid of a little bit of this white space in here, since this is going to be a screenshot. There you go. So that is another item I like. And I'm going to do one more and then I'll be done. This next one's actually really cool too. 
And again, I could do this in Excel, I could do this in Word, but to be honest with you, this is an easy example. Do you ever need to capture one screen and then another screen that's near it? And usually this happens with stuff like this. I am in the admin section of where I post stuff to this website. If I point to website and then I point to blogs, there is all post over to the right. Well, this is going to be one screenshot right here because what I don't want to do is this. Let me just show you this. I don't want, you'll see where I'm headed. That screenshot's okay, but look, I've got this stuff right here where I'm slowly moving my mouse below social media. I don't like this right here. I got this thing here sitting here also. I had to pick up company and I had to pick up system again. So let me show you this cool feature. Capture. I'm still capturing a region, but if I go down here to advance, I can tell Snagit to do a multiple area capture and it does it all at one time. So let's go try this multiple area. So it changed from region to multiple area. So now when I hit print screen, it's still going to start. So let me pull up my site again. Here we go. I'm going to get it set up just the way I want it. So I'm just where I need to be. I'm going to hit print screen. And because it's multiple area, it's going to ask me what area do you want to capture first? It is totally up to you, but I'm going to just do this part that says website and let go. Now it wants to capture again, and it's going to be this menu here. Let go. And then the third one. And I don't even need to go all the way. That's a lot of white space. I'm going to just stop right here. I could continue, but I've done three. Here is the word finish at the top. Watch this. It always pops into the editor. Oh, one last one. Watch this one. <laughs> so transparent here in the back. If I wanted to share this right now and share it on YouTube in my description, because a lot of times I can't save the image. You can't put an image inside of the YouTube description. But if I come up here to share, and I'm going to make a video on this, all the share options, Watch this, Google Drive, MA for multiple area capture. Just to keep this simple, I've already got a folder set up that's public. When I hit upload, I know you can't see it. I just got a link popping up on my screen. I'm gonna get that link. There's that screenshot. I would go to YouTube, go to my YouTube description, and I'm just gonna paste this link in here. It's going to my Google Drive account. Look at that screenshot. That is a multiple area screenshot. How cool is that? If I did not have that feature, I would have had to do one, two, three screenshots and then combine them. Don't want to be doing all that. That's it. My link for Snagit, uh, if you're interested in, is down. My affiliate link is down below, just to let you know that uh, you don't pay any less, you don't pay any more. So. If you have any questions about Snagit, all my other Snagit videos and my playlist will be down below also. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.